Hey guys and welcome on in to today's video where we're going to be giving a spotlight here to the mutual fund Aspiration Redwood which goes by the ticker REDWX. So diving in to the numbers right away, the net assets are a little under 60 million, so a relatively small mutual fund. You just want to make sure that your fund isn't too large. Usually once you're getting up to maybe like 100 billion or more, then you can get funds that have a hard time allocating all of their resources into uh, finding that value. So that's a perfectly fine number right here at approaching 60 million. It's expense ratio. You want to keep this number as low as possible for these actively managed funds. Anywhere between about 0.5 to 1% is average. So we're on the low end of that. So that's a positive number there. It's yield. So that's going to be the dividend return of its holdings is about 0.48%. And then it's holding turnover is about a little over 130%. With these actively managed funds, usually right about 130% is average. The higher the holding turnover, the more actively managed that it is, a bit more risky that it is. So we're right at about average there with that turnover percentage. Now to dive in to the holdings of this fund, again, it's a growth type of mutual fund. So not a big surprise to see. Pretty much all of the uh, composition here is in stocks, about 98.5% compared to 1.5% that's in cash. Looking at the sector weighting percentages, some of the bigger sectors here are going to be financial services, healthcare, and technology. And those are also sectors that you would expect to see within a growth type of mutual fund. And now let's look at some of their holdings. So the top 10 holdings here account for about 46.4% of the total assets. The higher number here, percentage-wise, the more risky the fund is. 46% is a very reasonable number here for the top 10 holdings. And you can see we have Costco, Amazon, TJX, Comcast, US Bancorp, Western Digital, Johnson Controls, Marsh and McLennan, Simon Property Group, and Echo Labs. So now let's compare this fund over to the S&P 500, of course. The reason to have these actively managed funds is to try to beat the market average, which we're going to use as the S&P 500. So as you can see, since it, its inception back in November 2015, the Aspiration Redwood Fund has only slightly outgained the S&P 500 index. It's basically the exact same, and it's pretty much mirrored the S&P 500 over its two and a half years in existence. You'd like to see a little bit better performance than that in comparison to the S&P 500, but a lot of times with these funds, you will see them mirror pretty closely to the S&P 500 index overall. And considering with these actively managed funds that you're generally uh, paying a higher percentage fee on your total assets on a year-to-year -year basis. That means if you just invested your money in the S&P 500 index, you're going to be paying lower expense ratios and making more money in the long term. So in this case, the S&P 500 would probably still be your better option, at least during this two and a half year period than aspiration but still this aspiration redwood fund it's very reasonably priced in terms of its net expense ratio and they try to focus on particular companies that are forward looking and diversified so if you like their mission then that's maybe another reason that you might want to put your funds within aspiration they have a minimum deposit of a hundred dollars so you can get into this particular fund relatively easily over at aspiration.com. So thanks guys for stopping on in for today's video as we took a look here and put the spotlight on the Aspiration Redwood Fund. For more of these types of videos in the future, please click that subscribe button. And if you want me to spotlight any mutual fund in particular, you can throw those down in the comment section. Thanks for stopping on in and we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.